Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today, as you can tell from the title, I'm gonna be doing a video all about skincare and my current favorite skincare products and just like a couple of tips that I have been trying out and using recently that have helped my skin be a lot better and look a lot clearer. Um, so yeah, my skin is a little bit of a funny one. I've done skincare videos before um, and I do go through stages of getting quite spotty skin and then other times it's quite clear and I know that a lot of my spots and breakouts are to do with hormones which obviously there's nothing you can do about that but recently I have been taking a few extra measures just to try and really keep my skin clear and just like hydrated and keep it looking the best it can um, and I have been loving the products that I've been using so much that I wanted to film a video today and talk to you guys about the products I have been using and just like share with you a couple of tips and stuff that I've been doing as well to keep my skin looking this clear. So I decided today to go for quite a natural skin look and I've only got one product on my actual skin. Um, it's not a foundation, it's almost like a skincare slash makeup product which I will share with you guys at the end of this video so make sure you hang around to find out what that is because it is one of my favourites at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get started and I basically got all of my favorite skincare products here and I'm just gonna talk to you guys about them and let you know why I love them. So I really hope that you enjoy the video. I've also got a big bottle of water here and yes, this is a Love Island water bottle. Um, I got this like the first week that I started watching Love Island and I've literally been using it ever since. It's got my name on it as you guys can see and it's making me drink so much water which actually is my number one top tip for clear skin. I know everyone goes on about it but honestly, I've got a bottle of water here and a cup of tea and I have been constantly drinking water all of the time for like the last couple of weeks and I definitely feel like it has improved my skin. My skin looks a lot more glowy and just really like clear and just lovely like the nicest it's looked in a really long time so definitely drink lots of water. Right so to start up with skincare I should probably just do it in the normal order and start off with cleansers. So the product I use in the morning and the evening um, is actually the Garnier Micellar Water. This is the first skincare product I use in my routine. So I use this in the morning just to swipe over my face. I just put a little bit on a cotton pad, swipe it over my skin and it just makes it feel a little bit refreshed, a little bit clean. Um, and then in the evenings I also use this to remove the majority of my makeup. I've loved this product for a really long time. You guys know that. I don't need to blabber on about it. Um, then the second product I use in my routine is a cleanser and again this is a product I've loved for ages. It's the Lizelle Hot Cloth Cleanse and Polish. Um, I love this so much. It's basically just a cream cleanser. You can buy it in the tube or in a pump form but I get the tube because it lasts a lot longer and I will be honest I don't use this in the mornings um, especially if I am having to get up in a rush and get on with the day. Um, if I've got a bit more time like I'm having a nice lion and having a nice pampering morning then I will cleanse my skin but the majority of the time I just use the micellar water but in the evenings I use this as my second cleanser to make sure I've removed the rest of my makeup and yeah this just gets on with my skin really well I love it a lot okay so then to tone my skin um, I have been using the pixie glow tonic as you can see there's hardly any left in this bottle um, I've had this for a really long time so it does last for ages um, but recently I have just been loving this it's a bit of a weird one it is a toner but it has like glycolic acid and stuff in it so it does exfoliate your skin so it's basically an exfoliating toner um, but I just find this a lot easier than using an actual like manual exfoliator it's just done in seconds um, it doesn't like involve washing off little beads that kind of thing I just love it and it's so easy to slip into your routine and it does your skin the world of good so yeah as you can see I have been loving this um, I have used this for ages but recently again I've just been loving it loads um, it's got aloe vera in it as well so it is calming on the skin at the same time so if you have got slightly sensitive skin um, and you're a bit skeptical to try this I would say you probably will be fine because my skin is quite sensitive and it's never never been like irritated by this at all um, so yeah definitely give this one a go if you're looking for something just to give your skin a lovely boost of glowiness that's probably not even a word. So next up I've got my evening moisturiser. This is the moisturiser I use at night time. Um, this is the Lizelle Skin Repair Moisturiser for dry to sensitive skin. 
again another holy grail product for me you guys know that this is just the moisturizer i use all of the time um i've been using this for probably over a year now it just fits into my routine perfectly and it suits my skin down to a t it's got avocado oil in it and vitamin e and it just soothes and really protects the skin and i love it so much as a nighttime moisturizer so now I've got a few products from a range that I wanted to talk to you guys about. This video is not sponsored by them, they have not asked me to film this video in any way, shape or form, but the lovely company Botanics, which is available to buy in Boots, sent me over a couple of products a few weeks ago and I've been using them so much and I have completely fallen in love with them and they've become a huge part of my skincare routine. So I wanted to talk about them in this video. So they sent me over one, two, three, four, five products from their new range. So you guys might have heard of Botanics before. They've been around for quite a while and you can get them in Boots. So yeah, I've never really tried that many of their products from their range. But recently they've had a massive makeover and that is why they decided to send me over a few of their bits to try um, which I was very very grateful for it was a nice surprise to come home to um, but yeah so basically they've had a revamp of their company and all of the packaging and stuff is different and I think the packaging looks beautiful I've been using the bits that they sent me over and I wanted to talk about them because I have completely fallen in love so the first product I have been using and absolutely loving is their serum this is the Botanics triple age renewal serum and it's got purple orchid in it which sounds very nice um but yeah i've been loving this although it's an age renewal serum like there's no harm in using it now if anything this is just going to keep my skin looking young which is something i definitely want to do so i have been using this beautiful product in the morning and the evening and i usually just take three pumps this is only one pump i do three pumps in my hands and then massage it together and just push it into my skin like really press it in and work it into my skin it leaves my skin feeling so hydrated and soft and it smells it smells really lovely as well actually it smells quite floral um so yeah i just sort of press that into my skin and leave it for a few seconds before i then go on to their moisturizer now this is a day moisturizer so i am still using my lizelle one in the evenings but this is a beautiful day moisturizer it's called hydration burst hydrating day cream with clary sage I don't know if I pronounced that right. So basically this moisturiser is a little bit like the Clinique Moisture Surge. That's how I would describe the texture of it. It's got like a jelly sort of texture which is lovely because it makes it feel so hydrating and soft on the skin. The only thing that kind of annoys me a little bit is that it doesn't have any SPF in it because I do like to wear a day cream that has SPF in but it doesn't really matter because I have been loving this so much anyway. It just feels so hydrating and lovely on my skin and I've definitely noticed that a lot of my hydration lines or dehydration lines have disappeared on my skin and it's been feeling a lot more plump and moisturized and yeah i've just been loving this a lot so definitely check this out if you're looking for a new moisturizer um and then the other three products that the brand sent me um i haven't used as much as the serum and the moisturizer but i have given them a go so the first one is the radiant youth microderm abrasion polish which sounded very interesting to me um i've used this twice now i used it i think the day i got it and i also used it this morning it is a lovely lovely product and I'm not a massive fan of exfoliators I just feel like they're a little bit abrasive on my skin and can cause a bit of redness um but this one is really lovely the beads inside the cream are so thin so as the name would suggest it's microdermabrasion they're not like thick beads it just feels a little bit like sand if that makes sense um it's not a horrible feeling at all and my skin did look super glowy this morning after I put this on it and sort of massaged it in so um yeah if you're into like your exfoliators and stuff definitely check this out but it says to only use it once a week I think obviously because it is quite abrasive on your skin so um yeah I'll definitely keep this in my cupboard and give it a go every now and then I've then got a facial oil this is their nourishing rose hip or organic facial oil which comes in this cute little bottle with a little pipette um, again I've used this a couple of times I tend to use this before I go to bed just because I don't want a super oily face like during the day because um, it's not always easy to apply makeup on top of but smells really gorgeous it smells like roses and I also just wanted to mention with the oil I do feel like although I haven't used it that much um I have had a lot of scarring and like spot scarring and stuff all around my hairline that's like one of my main issues with my skin because when I break out with like hormonal spots I do tend to get them along my forehead and around my hairline um so I have been applying this oil to the scars and I do feel like 
they have reduced slightly already which is crazy because I have only used this a couple of times but yeah I have kind of noticed that the scarring on my forehead has started to disappear a little bit whether that's just because a little bit of time's passed or whether the oil has been helping I'm not sure but I'm definitely going to continue to use this every now and then um, and yeah I'll definitely let you guys know if I notice any more effects from it and then the last product they also sent me is their hibiscus refreshing eye roll-on which is such a cool product you open it up and basically it's got like a little metal ball in the end and you squeeze the tube gently um, and a bit of this like gel comes out and then you use the ball to kind of massage it on and I've been using this mostly in the mornings because it feels really nice and refreshing and it's a nice product to use to help wake yourself up but you just squeeze it underneath your eyes and just gently sort of massage it around it's a really really cool product if you're into like um, eye creams and eye roll-ons that sort of thing so yeah, they were the bits that Botanic sent me. Um, I am so grateful for you guys sending those bits to me. I absolutely love them and I can't wait to keep using them and just see if I notice any more effects. But yeah, I genuinely have been loving those products that I've just spoken about. I haven't been told to say this or anything. Um, I just really, really wanted to feature them because I think you guys should definitely check them out. They are a really, really affordable skincare brand and I think they're definitely worth checking out if you're looking for some new bits. So yeah, that's that bit out of the way. Um, I've now just got two more products I wanted to speak about that are like skincare related so I've told you guys my skincare routine and my favourite skincare products that I've been using over the last month or so um, I've now just got two products which I guess are kind of like makeup products the first one is a fake tan that I have been using on my face because ever since I got back from holiday I've had a slight tan on my body and my face just seems to always be so much paler than the rest of my body um, so I like to put a little bit of fake tan on my face every now and then and the one I've been using is the Saint Tropez 24 hour instant bronzer this is a wash off one so it's a little bit less scary because if it goes wrong you can just rinse it off um, but I've just been using this every now and then I just dot like tiny little bit over my skin and then just massage it in with a tanning mitt and I've been loving the results of that so really really great fake tan and so the next product is the last one I'm going to be talking about in this video and it's actually a product from Bare Minerals it's what I've got on my skin today and it is their complexion rescue it says it's a tinted hydrating gel cream it's got SPF 30 in it um, this is in the shade vanilla which is the second to lightest one and I have used this product before I think I had it probably like over a year ago and I did have the lightest shade but since I've got back from holiday I wanted to pick up another one of these because they are so great to wear when you're feeling really comfortable in your skin but you do just want that extra kind of little tiny bit of coverage um so yeah I've been using this and I thought I'd get it in a little bit of a darker shade to try and match my tan not that I'm really tanned but you know what I mean um so yeah this is in the shade number two and it just comes out like a really nice um, lightweight cream and I just basically dot this around my skin and blend it in with a damp beauty blender it doesn't really give you much coverage but it does just give you that little bit of an extra glow and make you look like you are wearing a tiny bit of makeup so that is what I've got on my skin today um, also I've got like a little bit of concealer and obviously bronzer and highlighter that kind of thing but for my actual base I have just got on this which is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue and I have been absolutely loving it so they are all of my skincare favourites that I have been loving at the moment and I really hope that you guys found this video helpful in some way. Um, maybe you learnt one or two things about skincare or maybe you have discovered a product that you really like the sound of and you wanted to try but definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know what it is you've enjoyed about this video. Um, please do give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and press the subscribe button down below as well if you haven't already. Um, and I think that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys very soon with another video. Goodbye!